Hmm. Hello and welcome to Infinity. When working with a three zone model of darks, mids and lights or shadows, midtones and highlights, then there is a very useful tool that you can use for that. And it's not used that often, but it's surprisingly handy. And that's the color balance. Color balance does two things and it does it like this. It first of all selects either the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So let's just start with the shadows. And the first thing it does in there is it allows you to adjust color like this. And this is just a red, green and blue control. So this, after looking at the selecting the shadows, it then also selects the, say, the reds in there turns up the red so that in the darker areas are getting more red. So like in the hair there, for example, it's getting more red in it. But going the other way is turning down the red. But that produces cyan simply because when you remove red, the green and the blue form cyan and that's a left. So you can have colour control and with thinking in RGB terms, you can deliberately make adjustments to this. But what you can do as well is if I turn all of these up, I'm lightening the shadows. Or I can go the other way, and I'm darkening the shadows. Those three are all the same. It's simply a lightness and darkness control. So you control both colour and the light and dark within the shadows, midtones, and highlights. And if you're doing this and one is not quite out, you can hover over here and roll the mouse wheel to get the exact number if you want to do that. So in fact, and it's quite strong. So even there, that's quite a strong effect. So you might just want to bring it back a little bit and or just make little adjustments. You're going to do all three separately. But say by rolling the mouse wheel, you can easily set them all to exactly the same figure. You can also move things relative. So if I want to make the shadows more of a teal colour, I would turn up the blue to increase the blues here and turn down the reds there. And that makes it put a bit of teal into the shadows, just getting a straight line here. So similarly, if we're going to go to the highlights, and the highlights, they're a bit too much highlights, so let's bring them down a bit. Just a little bit. And if we set a straight line there, we're going to put a little bit of orange into it because red, green and blue turn blue down, green up. Oh, so green, middle and red up. Then you get a little bit more orange into it. So you can see the before and after. It has quite a powerful effect. And then with midtones, typically use the midtones to set the overall tone. So if you want overall just across the middle to say take a bit of that green out, it's a bit strong green in the background there. So if I turn this down, I'm just turning down the greens a bit. I can also turn down the greens by turning up to the opposite effect the other two. That because that starts then to overpower the remaining colours. Play up overpowers the green by pushing up the red and the blue because the colours are relative. Anyway, that's it. The, uh, it gives you a very powerful tool for controlling first of all whether you select shadows, midtones, and highlights, then selecting the red, green, and blue, and then also selecting the lightness and darkness, all in one very, very simple control. So thank you very much for watching.